Greetings, dear friends, fellow programmers, and those aspiring to be. Today, we will be ending our discussions about different lifetime support in dependency injection in ASP.NET Core. So, one might say, we're ending our ultimate discussion about lifetimes in ASP.NET Core in this video. So, if you would like to be completely able to distinguish and make informed decisions about proper lifetimes in all the situations you may stumble upon as a programmer, you, my friend, are in the right place. One might say that transient services are like those hidden menu items in coffee shops or restaurants. So nobody can see them, they are available every time somebody requests them, but they do not stick around. Whenever you ask for a certain service through dependency injection, it is going to be instantiated for you no matter whether it's in the same request, different requests, or across multiple different services of your application. You will get a new instance of the service every time you use it. So now the question may arise, why the hell would we want that? Isn't that going to be expensive for us? Well. It is, because you will instantiate the service over and over and over again. But on the other hand, you are usually going to be using very lean and small services as transients. They will not store states because you know that they will not be able to keep them. They will be recreated again next time you use it. So they are usually very lightweight. So they're easy to instantiate and do not cost a lot of resources. Also, they will not use a lot of memory because of their stateless nature. One might say that they're like a fresh cup of coffee that gets served to every customer with a different flavor, offering them a unique experience that way. What is also great about transient services is the fact that as soon as they are done executing what you instantiated them for, they immediately get disposed of. That way, they're releasing the memory and allowing you to use it for something else, which is different when compared to scoped and singleton services, which stick around in memory throughout the entire lifespan of a request or the entire application. And welcome to Visual Studio, my friend. Here I have prepared a very simple service for you to just be able to present how transient lifetimes work. So, what we have here is a transient service, we will register it as transient, trust me, which contains just a single method called getGreeting. We have a private field which is going to allow us to use random instances from the array of strings containing different greetings that we are going to use in our application. So we want to randomize which greeting is going to be used every time a new instance of this service is created. So now that we know what this right here is, we can see that in our getGreeting method we provide a name as an argument and then we return a string containing a greeting, which is going to be a random greeting for each transient service instantiation, and also a name that we provided. So now let us head to our program CS file, register this service with transient lifetime, and as you can see, we have done that. And finally, we to head to our controller where we will create a new private field and populate it with injected value of our greeting service. So after that is done, we will just invoke get greeting method and provide the name, which is going to be my name, and return it to our view. So when I run the application, let's see what we get. So the first time I got hey Marco, then when I refresh, I get howdy, then I get hey again, then I get hello, then I get hey, howdy, hey, greetings. So basically, Every time I refresh the page, we get a different random greeting from the array of greetings we have created, which indicates that a new instance of our service was created every time. And this might not be the perfect example because scoped service would give exactly the same result because it would be still within the same request. And when we refresh the page, we are creating a new request. 
but what I wanted to show you is that we have a different service instance every time I refresh the page. And now comes the pro tip I have prepared for you. Do not use transient services for any heavy duty actions. So for instance, the reason why we are not using transient services for our database context creation is because it is a heavy action to create a new instance of the DB context. It is not a lightweight action usually. And that is why you do not want to instantiate it every single time you invoke a single DB context method. And that is why they are usually created as scoped services. When we go back to our example as a reference of using coffee instead of lifetimes, using transient lifetime for our database context would be something like making an entire pot of coffee whenever somebody asks for a cup of coffee. It would be a waste of resources and time and effort and everything. That is why you want to be very careful and make informed decisions about which type of service lifetime you want to use in certain scenarios. And finally, before we end, I have another example for you. Maybe you saw that I have registered another service and have created another service in our solution here, which is called a joke service. And it behaves basically exactly the same as the one for greeting, just we have jokes instead of greetings. And now when I invoke it in our controller, and change it to get a joke. And now we should get a different joke every time I refresh the page. So the first joke of the day is going to be, why do programmers prefer dark mode? Well, because light attracts bugs. And we as programmers hate those, right? Then we have, why do Java developers wear glasses? Because they don't see sharp. Aha, you saw that one, huh? And finally, how many programmers does it take to change a light bulb? Well, none. It's a hardware problem. Again, as I promised initially while getting started with this channel, I'm really sorry about the cringy jokes, but I had to include them just to brighten things up. So that is it for my examples in this video. And before we end things, we need to discuss what are the real life use cases when we want to use transient service lifetimes at least in most cases. So the first one is when you want to create a greeting or a joke service. Again, a joke and a bad one, but I had to do it. The second situation is going to be email sending service. In most cases, you want to use transient lifetime for your email sending services. You do not want to mix contexts and miss states within those email sending services. Then we have temporary data processes. So when you're manipulating data and you do not want to store the states and results, transient is the way to go. And then we have form validation services because every form validation does not need to know about previous states and previous results of validating that same form. We do not care about those. We just want now to have a valid data in our form. And then we have temporary file handling. When you are working with temporary data files, you do not want to store them or you do not want to keep them for extended periods of time. And in those cases, you definitely want to use transient services because we will not remember any of the middle states. Because that way we will not remember and use memory for no reason. And then we want to use it for API request handlers. Because as you probably know, APIs are usually restful, which means they do not keep states. And now that we know all of this, it is time to wrap things up we can conclude that transient services are great when used properly, which also stands for both scoped and singleton services as well. So now you are a complete package of a developer, you're able to make informed decision what lifetime will suit you best, in which case, and to adapt to any situation you may encounter. So if you enjoyed this video, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel because we are still not done with dependency injection. We are getting started with real life advanced topics when it comes to dependency injection, which I think are very, very beneficial for everyone. So I would like to invite you to join them. And until the next video, thank you for watching 
and I wish you an amazing day. Happy coding.